morning, guys. How's it going? Getting some cereal. Delicious cereal. Are you kidding me? Seriously? <sighs> All right. This is one of my pet peeves I'm gonna share with you guys. There is absolutely nothing worse than when you're set on having cereal and you realize that there's, and you realize that you have no milk. What, what is an appropriate thing that you can use? Orange juice? Can I use orange juice instead? Gonna try. All right, this is gonna be interesting, but I want cereal. Sour, sour, but it'll work. I feel like I'm gonna get a stomach ache from this. But now I can't waste the cereal. Ugh, this is such a bad idea, now I just feel sick. I keep hearing somebody barking. What are you doing? Are you, you rolling around? Why are you so hyper? She's so hyper right now. I'm about to get ready to do the podcast, the Danny Duncan show, Danny. He made it mobile. 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 Mobile unit. Kobe's gonna be the special guest. Other mics. Actually, Kobe's gonna be the co-host. <laughs> You're gonna be this. I don't really need to do it today. <laughs> so good luck, have fun. I'll be back. I don't know why, but for some reason, Danny and I don't know what state this is. So if you live here, we are both so sorry we're offending you. This is a quiz where you try and name all 50 states in less than 10 minutes. Dad, what state is this? Florida. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, not, not where we live. <laughs> what state is what? That's the best Right there. What state is that? Dad, what state do we live in? I completely forgot. Uh, it's got to be one of the... The Four Corners, it's the Four Corners. New Mexico, you got it. Okay. Mexico. I feel like this is kind of cheating. Back up. Good boy. Between all of them. Zoe stole it. I think Zoe just likes to take it briefly. Kobe, drop it. All right, Marley. No, no talking. We have to do this podcast. Unless you have an interesting opinion you want to contribute to. Nobody cares about squirrels. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Just got done doing Danny's podcast, so you guys can, what does that go live? Uh, today, I'm literally posting it in an hour. <laughs> so, go listen to it, and don't make fun of me too loud. Too loud, too bad, or too loudly, I have guess. You got, have you been spoiling them with your corny jokes? <laughs> I spoiled the audio world with my corny jokes that you guys have been sharing. <laughs> I think I forgot a ton of them though, now I'm bummed. So good, it's like, I laugh, but then my eyes hurt from rolling. Yeah. Two favorite things in the world, cereal and sandwiches. Could live off that for the rest of my life. You like a sandwich? You can't have a sandwich. I made this for me. Get him, Mama. Don't let them bubble in your pool. Throw I have food in my mouth, guys. Hello, guys. So, kind of want to just have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys. Is it, I don't know if it's one-on-one. -on -one. one on X amount watching the videos. One-on-one -on -one camera, I guess. Just because there's been a lot of rumors and a lot of speculation and a lot of terrible things being said on the internet right now. I know, go figure, right, Charles? But I honestly just wanted to talk with you guys just so you knew what was going on in my head. The first and foremost, the one I want to talk about is that when we were together before our separation, um, that I was unfaithful. And I just want to nip that right in the bud right now. That before our separation, when we were together, I was 100 and 15, 125, 145. Uh, that's fictitious percentage, but 100% faithful. And basically that some people think that this is the reason why uh, the separation and the divorce is happening is because of cheating. And I just want to make sure that that is 100% not the reason at all. And if you think that, I'm just going to do that really quick, okay? I mean that with love. That is 100% not the reason at all. Once we decided we were going to mutually separate, that was when the time I thought was... To move on with my life and I know there's some people out there that think I cheated or did something wrong whether it be physically or emotionally and I just want to address that that is not the case and I just want to say how silly I think that is from liking a photo to commenting on a photo is if that's what that is in 2014 I just think that's hilarious because that is so far from the truth just wanted to address that I mean honestly the truth of the matter is that we are separated that means we are no longer together we are working to find happiness in our lives, obviously apart from each other. 
uh, because it didn't work. I know there's a lot of speculation about the allocated amount of time that a couple needs to have or a person needs to have after a relationship ends. And I feel honestly that it's not something that somebody else can determine for you. I feel like it honestly depends on the situation and the person, especially this. I feel like the situation is the number one kind of thing. And I feel like it's a very personal judgment that somebody makes. And I don't feel like, you know, whether it takes a week, an hour, seven years, it makes the person better or worse. You know what I mean? I just feel like that's honestly how I feel. And I know there's some people that disagree. What I'm trying to say is that when it's time for me to find a girl to make me happy, that's the, that's the key word right there. I want everyone to grasp that, to find happiness. I would hope and expect that everyone that watches the CTFXC would show that person and myself the respect that you would show any other person because in the end, we're all human. I also want to kind of talk about like how a lot of people think that I'm trying to deceive or do some trickery or magical editing. The truth of the matter is, think if you really honestly think about it, you know, like how nervous is when you meet somebody for the first time, think about meeting somebody for the first time, their parents and how nervous you were or, or something along or their friends and then times that by 1.5 million, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm not trying to deceive anything. So I just kind of wanted to kind of put that out there that maybe some people just aren't used to it and that maybe, because there's a lot of my friends that don't make it to the vlogs. This isn't something new and it's because, not that they don't want to be, but because they're afraid. And honestly, that's not ever a permanent thing because the guys in We The Kings, this is a little backstory. When I joined We The Kings, they were afraid to be on the vlogs as well. And you guys have now seen how that it all turned out. So it just takes time for some people, you know what I mean? And I just want everyone to be respectful and kind of cease this little witch hunt, you know what I mean? Because I feel it's kind of gotten out of hand. I just wanted to put that out. Maybe some people didn't understand that or just didn't think about it. And because there's a lot of you guys, it is very intimidating. The CTFXC is a large army of awesome people. It's very intimidating. <laughs> it's, I, you guys have created, together we have created this crazy thing. And I just kind of wanted to put that out there as a perspective. And it's never, like I said, it's usually never a permanent thing. People usually come around and they, you know, once they see positivity. And lately I've seen like a poor example of how the CTFXC is. And this, like I said, it might be because of me, of that situation. I just wanted to make sure people were comfortable. And like I said, this isn't something new. This has happened for five years now. So I really don't want to honestly talk too much about it because I just wanted to get it over with, done, out there. I just wanted the witch hunt to stop and just enjoy the videos like we've been doing for the past five years and just get excited for the future because I don't know what's gonna happen. That's the beauty about life and that's the beauty about sharing it with you guys as I'm living it. And that whoever ends up coming into my life and making me happy, whether this year, next year, five years from now, that you guys would show them love, kindness, and respect that you have shown me for the past five years. And that's about it. I just, I wanted to get on the same page with you guys. I mean, you guys know I love you guys so much and I appreciate most of you guys' support. There's always a couple trolls. I mean, there always is. And this video isn't for the trolls. I don't want to think the trolls won. Um, this video is just for me to kind of get on the same page and kind of vent. And like you guys know, these are a diary of my life. So when I look back on these, I can see this as a transitional period of my life. I can go back and watch this day, whatever it is, I can come back and see that this is the day right here was a huge transitional point in my life. I hope you guys understand and continue supporting the CTFXC and continue this ride with me. Whether it be, it's kind of like a roller coaster, right? You know what I mean? It's not so much a ride anymore, it's a roller coaster of life. I feel like in the past couple of years, the CTFXC has been a roller coaster. We're not, taking a, we're not taking a stroll, like a little drive. We're taking an old wooden roller coaster, <laughs> which is fun because old roller coasters are awesome. It's exhilarating, it makes you feel alive. That's all I want to say, and I hope this uh, clears some things up for you guys. Well, on that note, I guess I should end the video now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys are brand new, please click that little subscribe so you can uh, ride this little roller coaster. And uh, I hope I hope this is uh, everyone's going to bed on a good note right now. And uh, cause I definitely feel a lot better. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. And get ready to enjoy this roller coaster because I feel year six is going to be pretty gnarly, pretty interesting. So I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Have a great night. Doodles!